you aware of the sea monsters scarier than dragons? These mysterious creatures could haunt your dreams. So make sure you're choosing to watch this video by yourself. Leviathan According to the Old Testament, there's a huge creature in the deep sea called Leviathan. Both Jews and Christians believe this. Just like all the animals on land, in the sky, and in the water, Leviathan was made by God. The book of Job talks about this creature, and it's described as a massive monster, kind of like a big sea dragon. People were really scared whenever they saw Leviathan. No one was brave enough to try to wake him up because they knew they couldn't beat him. God describes Leviathan as this incredibly powerful beast. He makes huge waves when he moves. His mouth has scary teeth, and his back is covered in tough armor. Leviathan can even breathe out fire and smoke. When Leviathan shows up, even the bravest people run away because regular weapons like swords and spears can't hurt him. But like everything else, Leviathan exists because God wanted him to. He's just like humans in that he needs food to survive, and God provides for him. Leviathan even inspired an English philosopher named Thomas Hobbes. In Hobbes' book called Leviathan, he talks about how people need to agree to follow rules to avoid chaos, kind of like how Leviathan rules over the sea. Cretoxy or Hina In Earth's history, some sharks evolved to become the top predators in the ocean, climbing up the food chain and becoming amazing hunters. One such shark from the late Cretaceous period is called Cretoxy rhina. It was a massive predator that ate all sorts of impressive animals from that time, like mosasaurs, plesiosaurs, pterosaurs, and even dinosaurs. Cretoxy rhina is often called the Ginsu shark because its teeth were sharp and could cut through things easily kind of like Ginsu knives. We know a lot about this shark thanks to some well-preserved fossils that show its cartilaginous skeleton. Cretoxy rena belongs to a group of sharks called lamniforms, also known as mackerel sharks. This group includes famous sharks like the great white shark, basking shark, and megalodon. Cretoxy rena is special because it's the only member of its own family. Mosasaur weighs 10 tons. It can swim at speeds up to 30 miles per hour and is very, very deadly. Protostiga, Protostiga, which means first roof, is a type of sea turtle that lived a long time ago and is now extinct. It had one species called Protostiga gigas. Fossil remains of Protostiga have been discovered in western Kansas, specifically in the Smoky Hill Chalk Formation dating back about 83.5 million years. These ancient turtles were quite large, reaching lengths of up to 3 to 3.9 meters, about 9.8 to 12.8 feet. Scientists believe that Protostiga was likely an omnivore, meaning it ate both plants and animals. They think it mostly ate hard-shelled crustaceans because of the shape of its lower jaw, which had a long symphysis. Fossil specimens of Protostiga gigas were first gathered in 1871 and then identified and named by Edward Drinker Cope in 1872. At a whopping total length of 3.9 meters, about 13 feet, Protostega gigas is recognized as the second largest sea turtle known to science, with only the massive Archelon surpassing it in size. The Archelon During the late Cretaceous period, the Archelon stood as a colossal presence in the ancient seas its dominance unchallenged by any other turtle species. Resembling today's leatherback turtles but on a grander scale, the Archelon was a true behemoth, stretching up to an impressive 15 feet in length and weighing over 2 tons. Its massive size made it the largest turtle ever to roam the Earth's oceans, earning it the fitting title of Ruler Turtle. Unlike its modern counterparts, the Archelon boasted a shell that was not hardened but instead covered in leathery skin providing protection without adding excessive weight. Its formidable appearance was further accentuated by its sharp, elongated beak, which hinted at its predatory nature. The Archelon likely prowled the waters in search of soft-bodied prey, such as jellyfish and squid, using its powerful jaws to shear through their delicate bodies with ease. It may have also targeted hard-shelled crustaceans, 
utilizing its immense size and strength to crush their defenses. As the seas of the late Cretaceous underwent transformations, the Archelon's habitat may have dwindled, leading to a decline in prey availability. Plate Carpus A marine reptile from the late Cretaceous period was a formidable predator of the ancient seas. Resembling a mix between a snake and a dolphin, Plate Carpus was about the size of a modern-day dolphin, reaching lengths of around 14 feet. Its sleek body and streamlined shape made it a swift and agile swimmer, allowing it to hunt efficiently in its underwater domain. Plate Carpus was equipped with sharp teeth, ideal for catching and devouring its prey, which likely included fish, squid, and smaller marine reptiles. Despite its fearsome appearance, Plate Carpus was not at the top of the prehistoric food chain, facing competition from larger predators like mosasaurs and sharks. Nevertheless, Plate Carpus thrived in the diverse ecosystems of the late Cretaceous seas, showcasing the remarkable adaptations that allowed ancient marine reptiles to flourish. Megalodon Megalodon, the mighty ancient shark, ruled the oceans during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. With a length of up to 60 feet, Megalodon was one of the largest predators to ever exist on Earth. Its enormous jaws were lined with teeth measuring over 7 inches long capable of crushing even the toughest prey. Megalodon's diet likely consisted of large marine mammals like whales, seals, and dolphins, making it a formidable apex predator of its time. Despite its massive size, Megalodon was an agile swimmer, able to navigate the depths of the ocean with ease. However, around 2.6 million years ago, Megalodon vanished from the fossil record, leaving behind a legacy of awe and fascination. The exact reasons for its extinction remain uncertain, with theories ranging from changes in climate to shifts in prey populations. Regardless of its demise, Megalodon continues to captivate the imaginations of people worldwide, inspiring countless books, movies, and documentaries about the ancient giant of the seas.